Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to Free Your Mind. And uh, this is the show where I get to share all of my inspiration about Spiri. And also just to, um, yeah, extend the gift of it. Like I feel like I, what I want to do with this show and my prayer and, and just saying I'd, I'd love to do this is, is to be able to, to um, extend this incredible gift that has showed up for me on the this healing journey you know it started out as a form in the back of a book and then it was a fillable form and now it's a bot and pretty soon it's going to be an app <laughs> and i know many of you um on this show have signed up for the app and it is still in progress so it's going to just be yeah like another tool in your tool belt to be able to you know look at the the thoughts and beliefs in your mind that are causing you know any kind of upset that you might be experiencing because of what's happening on the perceptual screen so um yeah i'd like to open it up today for someone uh that has a an upset in their mind right now with uh something that's going on and we're, we're going to take that upset through um the levels of mind diagram which is really uh what the, the foundation of, of what the Spiri process is. Um, but before we do that, and before I ask for someone um, to, to walk through the session with, I, I just want to share kind of my own experiences around um, using Spiri this last week and, uh, and yeah, just really the expansion that I have felt as a result of, um, yeah, looking at my beliefs more closely. And so, as was mentioned on uh, some of the previous shows, we had a movie session last night at La Casa, and, and I was there, and, and I was sort of just, you know, watching my thoughts, you know, how's, how are things going, and I, and I sort of noticed, like, this awkwardness around two people that were there at the, at the movie session, and I really wasn't in touch with why that was, and, uh, and so uh, during, during the movie, I was doing a Spiri session, and in the back of the room on my phone and i'm like what is that because i really you know my my prayer and and with the beauty of in being in the community is that i get to and it's all about watching our thoughts so i get to watch my thoughts all the time and and you know and i and i i have this experience you know mostly of just really having this clear mind and and then when any anything clouds that you know it's kind of like oh what just happened here you know so so it's like wanting to get back into that state very quickly so so in the movie session i um actually just did this quick spirit session and and really got in touch with this belief that i shouldn't have shared my thoughts and with these two two people at two different times actually and uh Wow, that was pretty uh, profound for me to like see that I still, you know, there's still some kind of a hold back of thinking if I really shared my thoughts, you know, without a filter that there's some sort of a negative repercussion that could happen as a result of, of just doing that. So um, it was, it was really an eye opener for me and, and, and I did, you know, notice a, a shift in my mind after just getting in touch with that with that belief and um, and oftentimes it's all I really need, you know, like, okay, well, it's taken care of and I can move on with my day. And, uh, and then this morning, actually, I, there was an opportunity to, to connect with these two people in a larger expression session here. And, and I was just really in prayer about whether or not it was for me to say anything about, you know, what I was feeling and sort of this, the situation that was, was leading up to, you know, the discomfort and, and it was like, yeah, I guess there is something for me to share about that. And, and so I, and I, I did share it with, with the group and those two that were in the group. And, and I actually could see in that process that this was an opportunity actually for a deeper joining with, with everybody, like a deeper joining with the group, but in particular, a deeper joining with those two individuals, because I, I can see that there's some assignment that's being given for us to 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 be like uh, working with one another, um, collaborating with one another, and and if there's any speck of kind of darkness in the way of that, like it's just there's a block there, 
And so even this morning, um, being around them, I felt, you know, like I was really back in that clear state of mind. And, and, you know, it was because of the Spiri session, I feel like it loosened things up. And then, you know, being able to communicate with them this morning, like, just what, what was going on in my mind, like, and then even seeing that, you know, that the initial belief seemed to be about, you know, that I shouldn't, I shouldn't have shared my thoughts with them. I actually forgot what the belief was this morning that I had the upset about. So I really, I went back and looked at my Spiri session and saw what that was. But then this morning, like I was in touch with some deeper beliefs there that, um, that are for me, are ready for me to look at, like around responsibility and around getting things done around, you know, like, uh, having to know something when I don't feel like I'm, I really know. <laughs> so it's just, it's really great when that happens. It, sometimes when people go through a spirit session, they say, and oftentimes they say they feel worse <laughs> after going through a spirit session. And it's like, you know, in this community, we often say, well, rejoice, actually, <laughs> because there are things getting stirred up. And these, this stirring up is, is, is actually so very healing and and oftentimes the the healing can go on for for many days and and you are able to get in touch uh more deeply with with what's going on in the mind and um yeah just in terms of spiri uh i i went and took a look at sort of the numbers of people that have been utilizing spiri uh since we we launched uh, the chatbot last May, and we've actually had 40,000 people check out the Spiri chatbot in the last year, and of those, 20,000 people have come back for another visit, which would tell me that they have, have actually, you know, went, ran through a, a session and have come back for another session, and then of those, um, 5,000 are regular users, which is really great that, you know, people are are coming, feeling the benefit of Spiri and are coming back and, um, and, and going back again and again, because they are noticing that they're, that they're healing their mind and expanding their mind and, um, and experiencing the, the benefits of uh, what looking at your thoughts and, and beliefs offer. And this morning, I, you know, it seems like you can just open up any section of the Course of Miracles and you can see something that relates to why, why is it helpful to, um, to utilize Spiri. And uh, my, my lesson, or excuse me, my text reading this morning um, was, uh, happens to be the dynamics of the ego. And um, just, I just felt to read you this small section because I think it just relates so directly to what it is and why it is that it's so helpful to, to uh, look at your thoughts and beliefs. What is healing but the removal of all that stands in the way of knowledge? And how else can one dispel illusions except by looking at them directly without protecting them? Be not afraid, therefore, for what you will be looking at is the source of fear, and you are beginning to learn that fear is not real. You are also learning that its effects can be dispelled merely by denying their reality. So, yeah, I feel that's what we're doing here. You know, even this morning coming together, you know, we're all, you know, we all have that deep desire to heal our mind and to experience consistent peace and joy because that's what is promised to us by Jesus in A Course in Miracles. And we, you know, somehow deep, deep down, are trusting, you know, that, that, that promise is true. So, yeah, um, I'd like to just see if there's anyone out there that would be interested in going through a, um, levels of mind diagram this morning. It's, uh, again, it's kind of like a, a condensed version of what spirit takes you through and what the instrument for peace takes you through, but it's still as effective and, uh, and really the practice can be about, you know, I would say if you can just etch this diagram into your mind, you know, every time any kind of tinge of pain comes up, that, that this is your opportunity to look at what is going on in your mind and to take it deeper and to see it differently. So 
I, I would invite you to, to utilize these tools. It's more than just a, an intellectual exercise. Just knowing it doesn't help you. You really have to use it. <laughs> you know, just knowing the words of the course isn't going to be helpful. You have to put it into practice. And, and Spiri is the practical application uh, for anybody, whether you're in community or you're out there and you just really want to heal your mind and, and have these tools available wherever you might be. And we did see earlier just this uh, commercial uh, around Spiri and this uh, a, a mother having an upset and, and then having to look at, you know, the thoughts that she's a bad mom. And truly, uh, if you can just see that this process is, is about the, you know, exchange of, of, of self-concepts that we uh, literally are dropping <laughs> these self-concepts as we outgrow them and, and moving into more and more expansive concepts as, as, we, as we move along in our healing journey. So do we have anybody that is interested in going through a Levels of Mind? Yeah, what I'd like to do just at this point is there's um, uh, a short video that I would like to play. And uh, Nicholas, do you have that queued up for me that you can uh, just play it? It's, it talks a bit more about just uh, what this process looks like behind the scenes. What is, what is it that we're doing in the mind to, to heal and to, to actually um, move through these, these limiting thoughts and beliefs? It's about being willing to uncover the, the blocks to the awareness of love's presence in consciousness. If you put every ounce of effort, every bit of energy you have, that's, that's what the parable of David is, it's just been like three decades of putting every ounce of every energy, not on accomplishing anything, not on achieving anything in the world, not on accumulating anything, Nothing, none of that. I've just put it in the other direction on seek inside the kingdom of heaven within and focus on the mind training and focus on uncovering those blocks, those beliefs, those thoughts that are blocking the light. And you have to do it like a laser beam. You have to really do it with everything you've got because if, if you're kind of doing half and half, like, oh, I kind of like the world, you know, okay, I'm going to die, all right. And somebody wrote to me today, they say, I, I am definitely not ready for resurrection. <laughs> right here on Easter weekend, you know, I, get, I got a Facebook message, I am definitely not. There are things in this world that I still value, and I, I don't think I can do this. It really was, was like a, a, not a happy message. And I said, listen, it's not your job to convince yourself, it's the Holy Spirit's job to convince you. And if you still value things in this world, that's okay. You let the Holy Spirit use those things that you still value to unwind you and show you that there's something more valuable. Don't give in. Don't think, oh, I'm, I'm cheating on the Holy Spirit. No, no. The Holy Spirit will take you with whatever you believe, whatever you value, and He'll say, great, let's work right here, right now. Let's work with this. You value things, that's fine. I'll use those things that you value to take you higher and higher. There's no pen punishment, there's no penalties. It's just, if we don't give ourselves over, give, give our mind over to the Holy Spirit to use, then it's just a delay maneuver. <laughs> okay. So, um, Nicholas, I'd just like you to, uh, to queue up the uh, levels of mind diagram. And just for all of you, uh, for reference, if you are interested in, in going through one of these sessions yourself, you can download the Levels of Mind at levelsofmind.com. And, uh, and I have it on my desktop. I would encourage you to put it on your desktop so that you have it available in addition to Spiri to move through whatever issue that you might have going on. So uh, we have Mary, who is wanting to go through a session together. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, Hi, okay. Hi. Great. Hi. 
Have you used the levels of mine before? I've used Spiri quite a bit. Great. And okay. It seems to be the levels of mine. I, I'm not really interested in the paperwork um, since I've learned, since I found Spiri, it's, it's done for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Some of us yeah. like the diagrams and I like them all actually. It depends on, and like for me last night, just what I was going through, I needed a longer session. So I used the, the 20 minute, but you know, this five minute, which I would say that the, the diagram is more of a short version, the, the five minute Spiri. So, so even if we run out of time oh, wow. today and we haven't completed the entire session, just trust like the healing uh, has begun and, and is maximal for the time period that we have. Fabulous. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So would you like to just start by sharing what, what it is that's going on for you? Um, well, um, there's a, a, an anxiety going on in me for even doing this because my, my, um, my, my head was telling me that I will just get to watch someone else go through this and I'll get the residuals. And I've, and so when no one spoke up, spirit was going, it's you, it's you. And I'm like, no, 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 no. So I'm a little nervous about it. Um, and I'm not sure how I can put this ex exactly into words, but um, I'm going to try. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm having some um, body issues, um, uncomfortable body issues, and, and it's actually manifesting at, um, and exhaustion and, and uh, feeling, feeling very tired and, and sleeping a lot. Fortunately, I feel like sleeping, but sleeping a lot. And of course, I've been watching movies um, from the movie watchers and it's helping um, and participating in, in uh, <clears throat> expression sessions. But um, I seem to be, it feels like um, um, spirit is, is is trying to um get to me and one way is is through my body um i don't really know how to express um it's a little scary um because it feels like there's it's trying to tell me something and I, it feels like it has something to do with my my relationship with my husband so what are the symptoms that you're experiencing, the body feeling symptoms that are going on for you? Um, the, uh, upset in, in my stomach and um, exhaustion, tiredness, um, feeling weakness. I actually feel like sometimes I'm going to pass out and I have to lie down. Mm -hmm. um, and then it will pass. Um, but also, so can you talk a bit more, Mary, about what's going on with, with your husband? You referenced him. Well, we've been married uh, 47 years in July. And um, we've, you know, we've been together since we were 15. <laughs> and um, uh, it's, it's just, it's so different now that I'm, my, my top, top, goal in life is, I don't know if that's the word, but all I want is God and awakening. And um, um, it's just not feeling good to be around him. I feel And I think that's part of what's happening with my body. I don't know that that's my mind thinking again, but um, it just doesn't feel good to be around him. And um it feels like spirit, I've been having a, a sensation of missing going home and spending time there because uh, we live, we live um, in Kansas City and we have a home in Arkansas. And so I'm, I'm kind of um, looking at going back there because I will be going to Utah in, in uh, July, July 17th. And, so would you um, say that the, just uh, based on everything that you've said right now, would you say that the upset would be that you don't feel 
good being around him? Yeah, probably. Okay. It, yeah, of course. It it okay. my it, it feels like I'm upset about my health, but I, I what really keeps coming up is the way I'm feeling around my husband. Mm -hmm. Nicholas, can you type that into the levels of mind? So when I think about uh, being around my husband. So Mary, can you just describe again the uh, feelings that you have just being around what comes up for you? Being around my husband? Yes. The biggest one is sadness. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, the feeling of loss, loss of, of um, of losing something external, I guess. <clears throat> okay. So let's just move on to see um, the thought, the thought level. Uh, who do you think is to blame for just this upset? Is there someone that you feel is to blame? Um, no, not him. It's not him. <laughs> so okay. it's got to be me. Okay. So, so Mary. Uh huh. Yeah. Me. <laughs> okay. And Mary, is there something that you're afraid is going to happen in the future because of this situation? Um, I'm afraid that I'll have to make cha changes in my long-term relationship, I guess. Okay. So let's just get down to the belief level. And this is the, this, uh, the level of, you know, the, uh, what's, what are, what, what's underneath what's happening uh, in your relationship with your husband. So, so these thoughts and these feelings prove that I'm right, that. Um, who? Um, this is where I usually let spirit give me some <laughs> examples. Suggestion. Um, yeah. uh, that, um, Uh, I believe that I should should be should see should feel differently. Can you be more specific? Just even talking about what the, what fears come up in your mind when you think about the you know being around your husband and feeling this sadness and loss. What what if you could even get in touch with what it might be that is is generating those the feelings of loss? Is there? something that your the ego is saying to you in your mind that is resulting in this situation because hmm. um, usually it's about something that has to do with loss i mean the this the the ego wants us to believe that this is a path of sacrifice and and giving up things that are valuable to us so oh, yeah that yeah. would be the direction of the of the belief in the mind the belief, I believe that um, probably that I need to make a decision um, or that I could hurt him. I, I think the biggest one is that I, I can't hurt him. Mm -hmm. So that you can hurt him? Um, well... Maybe that's the same thing. Maybe my ego believes that I can hurt him. That's mm -hmm. probably, I said I can't. I believe that I, I shouldn't hurt him. Mm -hmm. So I guess that would be two of them. I believe that I shouldn't hurt him, and then I believe that I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's two beliefs there. Wh yeah. what, which one do you feel, feel is the strongest? That I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. 
that I shouldn't hurt my husband. And that, yeah. So basically, you do believe you're hurting him. I believe that I, well, I'm, I'm not um, expressing any of this to him. Mm -hmm. So I'm leaving him out of this. Um, he senses but it's always been about bodily issues. You know, I just don't, she, she just doesn't feel good or she's just not, you know, it, it turns into bodily issues. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Where am I going with this? Um, well, what does it, I mean, what, what would the, what would happen if you did uh, tell your husband how you're feeling and what all it would of be, it would hurt, it would hurt him. And, um, it feels like it would, it, I could hurt, I can hurt him. You could hurt him by sharing, sharing what's on your mind. What I'm really, what I'm feeling. Okay. And that he wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the, just summarize that Nicholas that I, I could hurt my husband by sharing what I feel. And I just heard you say too, Mary, just that you kind of sense that he already knows that there's something yeah. going on. But it's easy to say, oh, it's just she's not feeling well. And right, right, right. It's, a, so it's an you, avoidance tactic that we've used a long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. or, yeah. To avoid conflict. He doesn't like conflict. And so it's easier to pretend that everything's fine. Mm -hmm. So if you could just look at the, the situation and, uh, and look at it in terms of what, what would you wish were different <laughs> than it is? Because obviously there's something that's not working that's causing right. an upset. So there's, there's also something in the mind that well, wants what it I, to Yeah, what I, what I have... <laughs> Um, wish were different is that he were different. How so? And, and that's the loss is knowing that that is not the solution. But anyway, um, that he, I, my wish is that, or my expectation has always been he needs to change or he needs to under, to, to, um, I, I have this, I've had, I've always had this belief that um, he is, he is so, that he's immersed in ego and he, he can't even understand spirit. And so when I speak spirit, it's, it's like garbage to him. But, um, so wait a minute, what I'm, what I'm, so, so I have given up that belief and that expectation that he needs to change because I know that's mine. So it's something else. It, it's the, the, um, um, what I want is, um, a holy relationship. Mm. Mm-hmm. So in this holy relationship, how does he act? Mm. Mm. Wow. Sometimes it's even taking it back to, you know, what the upset is. You know, you said your upset was being around my husband. Is it that your desire is to not be around him? Would that solve the problem? No. Mm -hmm. because so you if, I, if I'm not around him I actually miss him mm. if I'm not around him for much time for for a lot of time so could it um, be if, if he acted differently would that be a solution yeah I think that's what I mm -hmm. that that's so why that's don't we I, yeah that would have to be honest yeah, yeah. right so that's, that's really like going really deep into this, Mary, and in just a few minutes time, you know, or uh, you're able to get in touch with, uh, for him to act differently, Nicholas, is, her, is the expectation. Yeah. 
Yeah. So just at this point, Mary, would you, are you willing to offer this desire to the Holy Spirit to, to realign with, with what it is that, that you truly want? I mean, you, you even bringing it up on the show this morning, there must be a desire for, yes. for something other than the upset. And, um, and really that miracle and what this diagram shows is, is, is if truly that you uh, want to hand this over to the Holy Spirit, then actually, you know, it, it is done. And yes. you can trust that the shift will take place if there's a deep desire for that to happen. Yes, yes. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Uh, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> yeah, it is done. <laughs> it is done. <laughs> <It's> accomplished. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel good. freer already. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, really well, do. thank you, everybody. We uh, have run out of time, and, and I, thanks again, Mary. I appreciate your willingness to join me on the show today. You're welcome. Right. Thank you right. so much. Thank you.